Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem maximum sum increase in subsequence. And this is the problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks. This is a medium level problem. And to be honest, uh, it's not really medium. It's a very uh, easy problem if you actually know this concept. And uh, the company tags are Morgan Stanley, Amazon and Microsoft. So the question says, given an array of n positive integers, Find the sum of the maximum sum subsequence of the given array such that the integers in the subsequence are sorted in strictly increasing order. That is a strictly increasing subsequence. All right. So if you had a prior experience of solving problems uh, like a lot of problems on DP, this you could correlate with the longest increasing subsequence. The only difference between that problem and this problem is in the longest sub increasing subsequence, the question is about the finding the length of the longest increasing subsequence. Rather, the question here is to find the maximum sum sub su subsequence. All right. But the condition that states like strictly increasing order that reminds the same in both of these problems all right so that is the only key difference and that is the reason even you can see on the code uh, in the code like the methodology is pretty similar it's just like we have done a small modification that's it and these are the sample test cases we will see that in uh, later and expected time complexities o of n square so is the reason we have uh, used uh, such a method uh, like you can see the code it's a o of n square and the expected auxiliary spaces o of n so we have used a vector dp of size n and this is because the constants are like n is just till 10 power 3 and you know this is one of the reason we are allowed to use o of n square method so this is all for the question now let us understand it with the help of examples so uh, given example the first example 1 101 2 300 so first let us list out all the increase in subs uh, subsequences all right increase in subsequences strictly increase in subsequences that is given as per the question so first taking the point uh, like i uh, like first element so one so what is the first element one so what are the subsequence starting with one just one and one one not one all right and one two and one two three and one two three hundred so these are all the subsequences that are starting with one and also maintaining the condition that they are strictly increasing and okay we are done with one now coming to one out one okay one out one so what are the subsequence starting with one out one just one out one because there are no elements that are right to the one out one that are greater than one out one all right it's just one out one and uh, okay we are done with one out one now coming with two uh, coming to two so what are the subsequence starting with two just two all right and two and three and two three hundred 300 so these are the subsequence starting with 2 and maintaining the condition that they are in strictly increasing order and coming to i equal to 3 uh, sorry not i equal to 3 element 3 all right so uh, 3 so what are the uh, subsequences just 3 and 300 all right and now the last element that is 100 so only 100 all right so there is no element that are uh, like right side to the 100 and so it is the only subsequence that can be found now let us find the sum of all the subsequences this is one this is one or two this is three this is uh, five uh, sorry six six sorry <laughs> and this is one or six and this is just one or one this is two this is uh, five this is uh, one or five all right and this is three this is a uh, one or three and this is just standard all right so what is the maximum sum that we could find the maximum sum is one or six that's it so this is the re that is the reason we are written the output as one or six i hope you people understood so we have understood what the question is and the second example is very pretty similar you can just uh, try it out using these things so listing out all the subsequences and then finding the sum of the subsequences and that's it we are done now where is the concept of dp being used here um like uh, why do we actually need to think of a dp so what are we actually trying to do that is the thing With, uh, if we understand our approach if we understand our blueprint then we can actually come to a conclusion very easily that yes we need to use dp we need to store the previous results for our answer so how are we doing doing it so if we carefully examine the example one itself we we can frame our the, frame the total approach to solve this problem all right so uh, I'll just uh, okay. I'll, I'll be writing the uh, things here itself. So uh, when I'm at a very pa any particular index, so let us assume I'll just erase these things. Uh, 
let us assume I am at this particular index. I am at this particular index. All right. So what are the things that I'll be looking at my previous index, previous indices? What are the things that I'll be looking? First thing that I look is if I find, uh, okay, I'll be writing a different thing. If I find any element, any element, any element less than my ith element, less than, uh, less than ith element. Okay. Suppose I'm standing at ith index. Suppose I'm standing at ith index. Okay. Ith index. Then what are the things that I'll be looking uh, uh, like to the back side, like the to the previous of ith index, like uh, to the left of ith index. I'll be finding any element. Do I find any element less than ith element? Okay. So now as of now, I'm, uh, I'm standing on i equal to 1. So that is 101. Okay. That value is 101. So I'll be looking to the left of 101. Do I find any element less than 101? So why do I find? Because the condition is that the condition is clearly mentioned that it must be a strictly increasing subsequence. So I'll be looking out for some element that is less than 101. That is for sure. Okay. Now I found some element. Let us assume I found some element. So what is the next step that I'll do? So the next step that I'll do is my present value is 101. All right. My present value is 101. And I found some element x that is less than 101. So what is the thing that I can do? I can add my value to this x, right? I can add my value to this x. I can add my value to this x, right? So I like, for example, uh, 101, uh, uh, okay, let us assume that we are on 101 itself. So I find that to my left, I find one. I find one. So when I add 101 to one, the answer that I get is 102. So till this particular index, till this particular index, the maximum sum that you could get is 102 because there are no other elements apart from one, right? If I if I add some other elements apart from one and that are less than 101, then I can add 101 to them also. But I do not find anything. I just find one. All right. So the maximum sum that I can find till this point, uh, till this particular index is one or two. All right. Now come to uh, now leave about these things. Okay. Uh, so we'll list out here till till this particular index. What's the maximum sum that we can find? That is just one. Till one or one. Till this i equal to one. So this is zeroth index. This is first index. This is second index. This is third index. This is fourth index. So till first index, what's the maximum sum that you can find? One or two. And now come to this particular i equal to two. So what are the elements that are less than two? What are the elements that are less than two? Just one element. Zeroth index, one element. Okay, only one, one element that you can find. That then the value is one. So if you could add two to that particular zeroth index element, then the sum that can be formed is three. Okay, sum can be formed is three. So this is the maximum that you can find. Maximum that you can find on this uh, using this particular value. Using this particular value, that is the question. Okay, so using this particular value, the maximum sum that you can find is three. Using this particular second index value, using the first part, uh, first index value, the maximum sum that you can find is one or two. Now come to this. Okay, come to this. So what is the maximum sum that I can find? So till uh, I find that two, two, three, I see that I find it two. All right. To the left of three, I find it two. And I see that for two, the maximum sum that two has found for itself is three. Right. So on two, on two, if the maximum sum that can be formed by using two is three. And three is there. Three is waiting. Three is as, uh, as uh, looked up to two and asked it as two. So what is the maximum sum that you could find uh, that you can uh, you know frame with yourself uh, by including yourself? That uh, so it asked two. What is the maximum sum that you could form by including yourself? Two replied that I could. I found that the maximum sum that can be framed using myself is three. So because 2 is less than 3, 3 can include itself into this, right? 3 can include itself into this because 2 is uh, less than 3. So 3 can be a part of the subsequence and 3 has asked 2, what is the maximum value of uh, sum that you have found by including yourself? 2 replied that the maximum sum that I found by including myself is 3. So 3 told, okay, because uh, you're less than me, so can be, I can be a part of your subsequence. So I'll add my value to the sum that you have found till now, the maximum sum that you found till now. So that is the reason the maximum sum that can be formed till now is 6. So this is the reason we have 6 here. Getting my point? So the maximum sum that can be formed by including 3 is 6. Now come to this particular element 100. Now 100 sees 1, 2, 3 to the left of 100. Okay, to the left of 100. And now very first element is 3. So 3, uh, it has 3. So what is the maximum sum that you could that you could found uh, that did you find uh, by including yourself? 3 replies, yes, I found 6. 
so 3 replies i found 6 uh, the maximum sum that uh, that could be framed by including myself is 6 when it asks 2 it says the maximum sum that i could find by including myself is just 3 and it asks 1 it says that it's just 1 it's just 1 so out of this all the things 6 is the maximum thing so 100 will be added to 6 so 106 would be the answer so here the maximum value the maximum uh, subsequent uh, sum of the subsequent that can be found by including 100 is 106 so this is how you are doing it so you are storing the previous elements results which elements that elements that are less than the particular ith element okay so you are storing every element result you are storing every element result what is that result so uh, if we clearly mention so if i just uh, erase these things uh, so dp of i okay dp of i states that what is the state dp of i dp of i states that i uh, maximum maximum sum of the subsequence of the subsequence that includes that includes ith element okay that includes ith element so that is the maximum sum uh, so that is the dp of i dp of i stores some maximum sum of the subsequence that includes the ith element so that is how we are using so we'll be traversing backside and we'll be checking all those elements i'll be checking all those elements which are less than the ith element and if i find some element that is less than ith element then i'll ask it and then I'll ask that particular value. So what is the maximum sum that you have found till by including yourself? It replies with some value. That I'll, I'll, be, I'll be adding to my value because I can put the particular ith element to this particular uh, uh, jth element because jth element value is less than ith element. So we are trying to frame an increasing subsequence. So that is the reason. I hope you people understood the logic. So now let us go through the code. It will be much more clear. So first of all, we are using a vector into dp and we are copying the elements of array into this why is that so because a subsequence can be of length one as well that is the reason subsequence can be of length one as well so every element is a subsequence of itself right so you can see one is a subsequence one not one is a subsequence two is a subsequence three is a subsequence hundred is a subsequence so each and every element is a subsequence of its own so like this you can uh, so every element is a own is its own subsequence so that is the reason uh, we have done this so initially we have uh, the answer to be dp of 0 okay the very first uh, thing so if we can uh, use this example 1 1 0 1 2 300 okay so 1 1 0 1 2 300 we'll dry run this uh, sample case with the uh, code so initially the answer is dp of 0 that is fine so you'll be traveling traversing from int i uh, like int i equal to 1 and we'll be looking out to the previous indices so previous indices i'll be checking what are the previous in indices only this indice so i'll ask, i'll be asking one yes one is less than 101 okay the first condition is satisfied one is uh, less than one not so array of j is less than array of i then i'll say that okay what is the maximum sums uh, that i could get so i'll be adding dp of j what is dp of j dp of j is one dp of j is one because we are on j is equal to zero right now i minus one that is zero so we are on dp of j that is dp of uh, zero so we we are on this so i'll be adding one to my particular uh, value that is one or one that is one or two so i am updating my dp of i and uh, what is dp of i currently that is one or one so dp of i is max of max of one or one comma one or two all right so that happens to be one or two so we'll be updating our dp of i so one or one has asked one why did it ask one because one is less than one or one so it'll ask one so what did it ask one so first thing is first thing is it asks one it asks one the reason being one is less than one or one so what did it ask what did it ask it asked the max it asks one like what is the maximum subsequent sum that you maximum sum of the subsequent that you found by including yourself so it would give some answer it would say some x value uh, it has got and one out one would say okay i'll be adding myself to this x or right because one out one can be a part of the subsequence that is the funda that is the logic so once we do this we'll be updating it that's it and now coming to two okay coming to two two would ask one because there is no other element that is less than two so two would ask one one would reply with the answer as one one is the 
maximum that value that can be found so 2 says okay let be add i'll be adding myself to 1 so that is the reason 2 plus 1 would be getting 3 similar is the case with 3 similar is the case with 100 that's it so in this fashion we'll be doing it and we after every uh, uh, ith uh, index like after 0 0 first index second index third index fourth index so at every particular index we would be getting the maximum value of the subsequent maximum sum of the subsequence by including the ith element so we'll be updating our answer also this is the answer that we have uh, initially taken and uh, we'll be updating our answer so first index uh, subsequent sum second index subsequent sum third index subsequent sum so we are updating and we will be having the maximum of all those things and finally we'll be writing the answer that's it so it's a pretty easy code very very easy code i've explained uh, at the deep root level that is the reason why video might be somewhat lengthy than the conventional required time so this clears your uh, you know uh, uh, doubts and all those things why are we using dp why are we only preferring this method or so, so and so so that is the reason so even we'll submit the code for your reference uh, okay i've already submitted so it must work uh, Okay, it worked. So for your reference, C++, Java, Python codes are also given in the, you know, uh, description. You can just find uh, look at to them. And if there are any doubts, please feel free to uh, comment uh, your doubts in the comment section. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned.